Do you really believe one thing is enough? Richard, I hope you're doing fantastic today. In today's video, I want to share with you how to eliminate social anxiety by tweaking one simple thing. So back in the past when I had actually social anxiety and when I was even suicidal, my coaches picked me up and that he has introduced me to many, many things, especially to personal development. And what I'm actually currently doing is I do currently have a mission to help 7 million people who are introverts as myself back in the past to get rid of it. So if you're willing to be in help, actually check out this video or alternative you can also PM me or you can also go into my website and also schedule a call with myself if you want to be one of the 7 million helped. So people who had social anxiety. So, reshape well. Actually, because of this very story, because of this one I'm doing, there are many things that I have learned. And he is actually always talking about Steve Jobs, how he has helped him, and about his thing that Steve Jobs always telling us or have told us that basically. We cannot connect the dots watching forward or watching backward. And every time he's talking to us, I didn't get actually a thing until I actually wrote, have read some books and also been on other webinars and other seminars who, where it makes really click in my brain. It takes really long, even two years to make a click. So what is the click all about? Well. You have to tweak it. You have to tweak it. How you tweak it? Well, you know, currently you're coming from a state of I want, I want, I want, I want. And I have a little bit talk about this about this topic in this video. You can also check out this video by the way. Because I have also talked about about this one thing, but today I want to really go in depth about the one thing. I want, I want, I want, I want. If you want something. Which energy is around this? Is it positive energy or negative energy? It's likely more negativity. Because you want, you have to really become conscious. When you want something, from which energy does it come? Does it come from abundance, from being fulfilled, from being aligned? Or does it come from scarcity? AKA, does it come from fear? Does it come from invite someone being jealous or all these feelings, all these negative feelings? Well, you have to analyze yourself, you have to analyze your own beliefs. And when you know that this one is coming not from the positive side of life, not from joy and everything, then it might be a little bit wrong once or you have to tweak it. Because we are do not chasing the thing. Because we are do not chasing the thing. Have you ever woken up from your freaking bed and say, I want to have a big Bugatti Chero? No, hell no. What we want to have, we want to have this feeling to be in this car, to driving this car, to be really with this having this publicity to everyone is just making photos of yourself and just interviewing you because you got the car. Just this, right? You want to be freaking superstar because you got the car. Let's be honest. It's a feeling that we're chasing. We're not chasing the car itself. Same goals for social anxiety. When, you, when you're chasing for, get rid of social anxiety. Well, we're chasing of what? We're, get, we're chasing of being communicative, maybe speaking with people, maybe speaking on stage and TED talk, or being on the same stage like Tony Robbins and, and so on. Yes, we are chasing the feeling. How good it feels like. So, the 
thing is, people who chase the feelings, they can end up to chase the feelings the whole damn life. Just imagine, it's the whole damn life, they're chasing one feeling. What eventually happens is, nothing will happen. They just end up there, doubling around, they're chasing, but gain nothing. So, let's reverse engineer the whole process. How are we doing it? Well, we are don't going from today's thing, so, but we go from we already achieve it. So, like for myself, I want to buy a company which has like Levitate car. So, I will go for this really moment that I have bought my own Levitate car and it has been sold worldwide. Okay, from this very moment. And then I reverse engineer it back then, like, okay, bought the first car, then how I actually working towards it how I'm doing other things, how I'm doing currently in general with personal development and before how uh, uh, how, how I was in I was in Tokyo actually to inventing this car and get the, the people there to from the right universities to invent this car how I actually here in, uh, in Germany to actually doing these courses and everything so yeah this is actually reverse engineering so you can't connect the dots forward, you can't connect them just backwards. And this you can actually apply it to every story if you have like social anxiety, how to become social anxiety, how to help people with social anxiety. Reverse engineering. Not going forward. I mean you, you have to go forward, of course. But see this goals from a perspective of already having this feeling. And throughout information, you can just go on rocks the information. It's a nice channel and just go for affirmations. If you need money, go for money. If you need to be more social, go more social. If you need more love, go more love. Just type it in. And when you type it in, you, you have like 30 minutes of affirmation. Just put an earphones on your, on your ears. And it sounds like a mantra because it's kind of, it sounds pretty creepy if you just listen it to once. But the thing is, it is not for your conscious brain, for your subconscious brain. And if you don't manipulate your, your when you don't brainwash yourself, your subconscious mind, every single day, nothing will happen. Therefore, you have to really subcon you have to wake up as a millionaire if you want to become a millionaire. Just imagine the moment you have like really a million in bank. How does it look like when you wake up? How you feel? What kind of energy you have? Do you have a smile on the face, or do you just? Hmm, you have a smile on your face, right? So act like that. Like, act like that. Right here, right now. Why are you chasing the feeling when you can already have the feeling right now? Okay? And then you choose, choose the goal. And the goal is actually when you want to become. It becomes how actually Les Brown said, how hungry you are. If you're hungry, this is where you actually go for. Go for the last goal, reverse engineering, and really pick up this real emotion pick up this feeling and amplify and apply it to your current world. Reshaper, I hope you got some value from it. If so, smash the like button. I also do upload this video every single day, so make sure you hit the notification bell because the next video will be how to escape social anxiety. So if you want to know it, I want to suggest to subscribe, hit the notification bell because in this channel, I actually do things about social anxiety, about procrastination and so forth, using personal development, a little bit of psychology and so forth. If you want to actually see further videos, these videos might actually help you. I do actually also about business, like Facebook, Facebook marketing. So check out this video in the meanwhile. See you in the next video.